Hello everyone, this is Omar. Welcome to the channel. This is the continuation of our RSCSA practice exam series. We are at question number 16, but in this video we will solve both question number 16 and 17. They are both related. I'll show you how. It's about, it's related to container, Podman container and most of the students they find it very challenging but we'll try to solve it in a very simplified way so uh, go ahead and read the question it is asking us to download the image run the container then the run the container is a systemd service so that it comes out uh, it, it it starts for you know after the system reboots uh, this, in the second question it is basically talking about the same container uh, run the system journal and then using that one copy the file to different directory out here and then mount that directory inside the container so we'll go through this step through this step by step right so let's go ahead and first on uh, note this is we are doing it on node 02 as omar user so this is this time in this particular video we are using a different user but it doesn't matter you can create this one you can follow with any user you want so i'm sure in your own lab you will have a different user so you can just simply replace the username and the node name <coughs> all right so let's uh, let's begin so the first thing is it is asking us to uh, create a podman container but for that we have to make sure that the podman is installed it is installed in our case so if it is not installed make sure that you install it then you uh, in the exam you will be provided by you know with the registry name url and username and password but in this case we are going to the Red Hat registry. I'm already logged in, so uh, we are good here. So we'll pull the image. I think I already pulled the image, but let's check. It will try to pull the image. If it is already there, it will let us know. So let's give it a couple of minutes. And then we will be, yeah, it's already there. So Podman images, it's already there. So the next thing is we will run the container with this name. This is the command we are using podman run minus d is for detach mode, minus name is for the name of the container name of the container, and this is the image we will be using to run the container. So it's a podman ps. You can see the container is running. Now this portion, this part is completed. This part of the question is completed. We have to convert this one. We have to configure the systemd service for this container. For that, you have to create, because you are a user, you have to create this uh, directory structure. It is a minus p. You know what minus p is for. If parent directory does, doesn't exist, it will create it. So it will create the directory structure. You have to make sure that it is dot config systemd user. All right. And then you will, because our container is already running, you have to make sure that the container is running. All right, and then what we will do, we will use this command to uh, create a systemd service for the user. So using podman generate command, there are many other ways of doing it, but this is the simplest way you can uh, generate the systemd service. Minus minus new, minus name, name of the container, and then you give the entire URL of the directory which we created. Under that, we will create this file, which will be a service configuration file. So let's go ahead and do that. It created the file. So if you go and check the file, it has all the configuration parameters and everything. Go and read about it. The, the most important that that matter for us is this line. Also make sure that you read and understand this one. This is the this is the command that will be used to start the service. So as you can see, it is using minus D flag. It is using our container name and is using the image. The other things are generated automatically. All right, so our systemd service is already in configured. Now, just like firewall settings, we whenever we make changes to the firewall, we reload that. So similarly, when you make these changes, you create a new service or you make the changes to the existing service, systemd service, you make sure that you run the daemon reload. Minus minus user flag is for the user because we are running it as a user, all right? So if you're running it as a root, we don't need that, but the question is about contain creating a rootless container. All right, so we have reloaded it. We'll just check if the container is running. Our container is running. We created the service. Now we have to see if the if the container comes up using the systemd command. Now systemd to to make sure that we'll stop the container. 
we'll stop the container because you can see there is no container running but we created the service already so we'll try to first we'll just enable the service and then we'll try to start the service to see if our container comes up or not all right it seems it does all right good so we started the container using the systemd service not the podman command the podman command command runs as part of starting the service as you, as you have seen in the configuration file so just for a quick demonstration podman ps podman ps the container is running just make sure that it's working fine we'll one more time we'll just stop the container using pod they using the system d service and podman ps it's not running we stopped it as a service and then we started as a service. now you check podman ps it's running so that's how it is done the first question number 16 is solved how easy was that that's been done let's address the question number 17 while we are at it so this is asking you to configure a root journal uh, and across all repo it should be there and then the journal file directory is there we have to create it you have to make sure that these things exist and then you copy just read the question you will understand it i'll go through the solution very quickly all right so what we are going to do here is just to show you how it works we will go inside the container using this command <coughs> we are using exec this time if you notice so we are using exec in interactive mode going inside this container and asking us to give us the bash count so as you can see we are inside the container so we'll go to slash where log in we are inside the container as you can see the container make a note of it it is going to change after we do the configuration so we are coming out podman ps as you can see this is the container id and we were inside the container all right so let's go ahead and make some do we have to make any changes inside the container it was already there so let me do a little bit of experiment out there i'm, I'm avoiding that you can use it as you wish there are multiple ways of doing it so i'm stopping the container right now please do not do not delete the container if you delete the container you lose it all so we are working on the same container we have the configuration file so do not delete the container so in this one what we are doing we are we are trying we are be creating this directory it already there if it is not there journal d just restart the journal d service it must already be running if it is not you can just run it so enter the home directory try to i will i will paste everything i'm going quickly because you know i don't want to, this video to be very long so uh, read uh, the instruction will be given in in the description section go through it read about it and try to replicate the same thing at your in your environment if you face any problem or issues just let me know so i am creating this directory and i will be copying all the files from journal location you see where log journal i'm copying all the files to my home directory let me see if it was there was anything okay there was this file. all right so there are there are a couple of things you can see this is there this is there so <coughs> these things these contents should be visible in inside our container because we will mount this directory into inside the container all right so we are here we have to change the context read about it let me clear this one what we are doing we are changing the context to container file file t to for this directory which we created under user home it's done make sure you read about these things all right so container file t okay we are almost there so we'll just 
check it in a different way about the permission okay permission is 1000 1000 we will what we will do quickly is we will, I'm doing a little bit of experiment here there are many ways you can solve this one just try to understand what I'm doing here I am to I'm also experimenting along the way okay let me see how it goes okay all right so these permission related thing I've done just go and read about it and there is this document reference I have given you if you don't know about podman if you don't know about container to go and read about it understand what this technology is just you know this uh, video is for those who already know about podman and container and they want to attempt uh, the exam rscsa and they want to go through the configuration of this uh, solution so what i will do um, i already have the configuration file system d what i will do i will go and make the changes here for those who understand podman will know what i'm doing here if you don't learn about it so what am i going to do what am i going to do i'm going to use this slash where slash log so if you know about containers and podman you know what i did all right so this is what let me just reload i hope our configuration went fine podman ps it's not running this should bring up the service in podman i hope so it did let's go and verify how you verify you go this one inside the container go to slash where log you can see this is the content inside the host this is the content sorry i move back where log if you see sorry what i'm doing I'm going back again slash where log if you see here journal inside the journal yes see this is the content which is there in my host directory which is mounted here so this confirms our host directory is mounting here how we can verify that let me because this is my container I'm inside the container let me come out of the container and check that directory it should have the same content so as you can see this one inside the container this is outside so directory mounted correctly and this completes our solution i hope you like the video thank you very much have a good day